Hello and welcome to Photography TV. Before we get started on this quick tip to show you how to composite in Photoshop, let me encourage you to sign up for our free ebook called 10 Tips to Taking Better Pictures, Capturing the Best Images of Your Life. The link is in the description. Sign up now for your free ebook and let's get started showing you this video on compositing in Photoshop. Hello, welcome to this video on Photography TV. We're here to educate, entertain, and inspire you around photography. During this episode, I thought I'd give you a quick and simple tip on how to do basic composites using Photoshop. So you can see here, we were actually out of the lake playing this golf ball game with the kids, and I had these couple of photos, and I noticed that the expression of Haley in this first photo was really good. She's excited, she's having fun. Uh, but over here, Ethan is kind of bored, he's, he's not into it. But in the very next photo, it was kind of a multi-burst shot. In the very next photo, Haley's standing up, but now Ethan's super excited. So I thought, well, there's two different photos, but their expressions are different. I love it if their expressions were take the best of both and bring it into one photo. So I thought I'd do a really simple composite to make these two different photos come together into one image. Uh, and I just wanted to show you a quick tip on how to do it, because this is simple compositing, call it Compositing 101 in Photoshop. So here's how you do it. I'm in Adobe Lightroom right now. If you simply take the two photos that you want to merge, uh, you click on both of them, right click, and go to Edit in Adobe Photoshop. So I have the Photoshop Photography Creative Cloud, which I'll put a link to in the description. That's what makes both of these available to you. Very simple and easy. It's a great offer from Adobe, so check that out if you don't have these already. But once I hit uh, Edit in Adobe Photoshop, it's gonna pull that up for me. And now once I have the photos opened up in Photoshop, you'll see it actually opened up two different files here, but I actually need to merge them into one because I need them as separate layers. So all you have to do here, step number one, just merge them into one document on two different layers. And the way I do that, I go over here to this layer and I just right click, duplicate layer, and then I tell it to go to the document, put it on that first one, and it will automatically move it over. I come over here and now I have the two different photos on one file. That's what I wanted. So now I can actually close this just so I don't get confused there. All right, so now I'm working with one file with two layers inside, so that's important. All right, so now all I need to do is put the files together. And so I actually wanted to use this layer as the top and then this layer as the bottom. So when you're working in layers, the way to think about it is, it's like having two different prints and just stacking them on top of each other. You wouldn't be able to see the bottom one if the top one's laying on top of it, but what you can do is actually cut out a piece of the top so that you can see through to the bottom. I hope that makes sense. It makes sense in my mind. That's kind of how layers work. So if you think about compositing, what you want to do is put the two photos on top, but then just remove a section of the piece that you don't want. I don't know what I'm trying to do there with my layers, but let me just show you on the screen. That'll probably make more sense. Uh, I didn't think through that little thing, but. All right, let's keep going. So now that I've got the layers, this is the expression of Haley that I want, and this is the expression of Ethan that I want. So all I did was just hide the layer, pull it away. So. All I need to do is actually create a layer mask on the top one. So you go layer, layer mask, and I actually want to show everything on this top layer. So I'm going to reveal all. So now everything on this layer is being shown, but I actually want to erase Ethan on this one and have him show up on the other one. So very easy, once you've done that layer mask, down here you can see black and white. If you hit the X key, it'll toggle between. So if the top one is X, then you select this right here, the brush tool. If you have the black and the brush tool selected, it's gonna actually erase that top layer. 
So see what's happening there? I'm pulling Ethan out of the top layer and I'm gonna bring him in through the bottom layer. So I'm just doing that. And all of a sudden, Ethan is now coming in on this layer. And I just paint him in. And all of a sudden he's showing up because I'm removing that top layer, just this section to paint Ethan in, in the bottom. Now you can see there's a little bit of a difference here between the grass, so I'm just gonna kind of paint that in until I feel like it looks good. I'm not gonna be super critical with this because it's just a quick snapshot is really all it is, but I just wanna show you the, the quick way to do the, um, do the composite. And so there you have it. Now we've got this image taken from two images that both had different expressions. I liked both of them, but I didn't like either one of them just independently. I brought them together, a simple, quick composite, and that's how it's done. I was actually just doing this on my own, just normal photo editing of my family's trip to the lake, and I thought, you know what, this is kinda cool. Quick little tip I thought I'd make for you. So I hope you like this video, quick and simple compositing tip 101 in Photoshop. Um, if you like this video and others, subscribe to us here on Photography TV and uh, thanks for watching.